السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ نحمد و نسل علی رسول کریم اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم و ان کلا علی خلوق عظیم صدق اللہ العظیم prominent president of today's program invited guests and dear friends today i would like to talk on the topic of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his personality dear listeners Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent many messengers to guide humanity and convey his messages. At last he sent his precious gem and final messenger who was much awaited by all creators. Allah the Almighty dwelled Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with sublime conduct and character. as well as all the qualities which were required to be a best human each and every creature of the world is highly obliged to this greatest benefactor of humanity because he led the people and nations from slavery to victory from divergence to unity from ignorance to knowledge from fear to security and from nomadism to settlement not to talk about muslims and his followers even non muslims are highly impressed by his conduct and character let's analyze how he cast a spell over the hearts of the people regardless of religion caste creed and color here are some glimpses of non muslims impressions which indicate that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was supremely successful of all time High sighted man Al Kochiala Martin and his statesman says about the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that there is Muhammad the prophet Muhammad the king Muhammad the general Muhammad the businessman Muhammad the preacher Muhammad the philosopher Muhammad the protector of slaves Muhammad the statesman Muhammad the spokesperson Muhammad the reformer Muhammad the refuge of orphans Muhammad the educator Muhammad the emancipator of the women Muhammad the husband Muhammad the father Muhammad the law giver Muhammad the judge Muhammad the orator Muhammad the apostle Muhammad the legislator Muhammad the conqueror of ideas Muhammad the founder of rational dogmas of a cult without images Muhammad the founder of 20 terrestrial empires and of one spiritual empire in all these magnificent roles in all these department of human activities he is like a hero we may ask is there any man greater than he answer will be only that like him never walked on the face of this earth i am quite certain till the day of judgment like him never walked on the face of the earth حضرت حسان ابن ثابت مے اللہ بی پلیز وتھ ہم سیز و احسن من کلم ترقت عینی و اجمل من کلم تلد النساء خلقت مبرا من كل عیب كانك قد خلقت كما تشاء موہن داس کرم چند گاندھی دا انڈین تھنکر اسٹیٹس مین اینڈ نیشنلسٹ لیڈر سیز I wanted to know the best one who holds today and disputed sway over the hearts of millions of mankind. I became more than convinced that it was not the sword that won a place for Islam in those days in the scheme of life. It was rigid simplicity, the utter self-affacement of the Prophet, the scrupulous regard for his pledges, his intense devotion to his friends and followers. his intrepidity his fearlessness his absolute trust in god and his own mission these and not the sword carried everything before them and surmounted every obstacle when i closed the second volume of the prophet's biography 
I was sorry there was not more for me to read great life young india volume 5 saying of sallallahu alaihi wasallam our treasure of wisdom not only for muslims but for all humanity reverend bosworth smith says muhammad was kaiser and pope in one but he was pope without the pope's pretension and kaiser without the legions of kaiser without a standing army without a bodyguard without a palace and without a fixed revenue if ever any man had the right to say that he ruled by a right divine it was muhammad for he had all the power without its instruments and without its supports muhammad and muhammadanism london 1874 page number 235 jules says the greatest leader of all time was muhammad it is written in encyclopedia of britannica that muhammad was the most successful of all religious personalities in short the more they praised less it was and at last they expressed their inability by saying that la yumkinu sanau kama kana haqquhu baad as khuda baad as khuda buzurg tu hi qissa mukhtasar now i am going to wind up my talk thanking you all for listening me peacefully and patiently wa akhiru dawana anil hamdulillah